Hello, and now it's the third stage of the Tour de France. As you remember, I got the stage win last last uh, race, um, and now I have to follow up on that. Even though this stage is um, look like a flat stage, it's actually a high um, finish, so it's a punches. But again, we have Peter Sagan, we have got a battle on the door. We should be able to take this stage, but it's hard. I was not good at those uh, small climbs. <laughs> See the ferry is Dan Martin, Philip Sibert and Alejandro Valverde. States for Robin Kreisiger, he wants to be in top 10. So, we have to think about what we're doing now because Peter Sagan should get at least 15 points at the mountain stage, uh, the sprint. That means at least only three people can get out in the breakaway. The stage that is served up today reminds us of the great classics of cycling. The reason is that the finish is atop the renowned Mur de Huy, traditional decider of the Flèche Vallon, with its sections at close to 20%. Certainly one of the toughest kilometers in cycling ever. He was itching to have a go. He's already on the attack. Today should be lively. The race is over irregular terrain, so there's likely to be plenty of movement. They're stepping on the pedal behind. <laughs> this breakaway doesn't come anywhere. The breakaway didn't get far. Watch out for counter moves. Counter attack attempt at the head of the peloton. Breakaway over. We can only wait to see what's happening. And now there's come a breakaway. Attempt at the breakaway.
riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. Attacking the Pedaton? Each time he's going, the Peloton is awake. It's not good for my chances to get the points. New acceleration of the head of the Peloton. Now, then I stop. He's attempting to get out of the peloton. So we didn't know the driving. Three people are not getting in a chance to get away. Now they did. So we have to be sharp now with the, with the next sprint. Riders are increasing the gap. They are not dangerous for the overall standing. We can let them go. We just to make sure that Peter Sagan is going to get those points. He could be labeled as a puncher, but he's also good in the mountains. However, his top speed can be described as lethargic. For some years now, Sepp van Marke is a serious candidate for victory when the cobbled classics come around, as evidenced by second place in Paris-Roubaix in 2013 and third place in the Tour of Flanders in 2014. Understood. His best and, uh, chance of victory is to try a breakaway from energy far because out. then the last bar is can, can get up to full. And that will help uh, later on. Understood. He's primarily a teammate ruler, even if he's not too bad on a sprint. He's a good sprinter, often used as lead out rider to drive mass sprints. And we're going to save this because of the crashes. Because sometimes it actually crashes uh, for no reason. So we have to be in.
the front runners at 10 kilometers from the first intermediate sprint. The gap is widening. No need to panic, guys. There's nobody dangerous for the overall standings. Well, we know that. Constantly try to shelter from the wind so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. Guys, don't forget to protect our leader. Communication is important. That's why we have Team Com. from the intermediate sprint. Up the pace, guys, to prepare for the intermediate sprint. We need to take those points because he could probably go take some points on Hoy. The breakaway is upping the tempo at the head of the race. It doesn't intend to be caught up that easily. The breakaway is losing its lead. It's going to be difficult for them. Make a big effort on the relay. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. The 11 points here, so important. And save. <laughs> and now we're gonna uh, go to the next stage, uh, the next part of the stage is to finish. Um, we need to get Kreuziger, Alberto Contador. Second in shape. The gap is widening. No need to panic, guys. There's nobody dangerous for the overall standings. Understood. Understood. between the peloton and the escapees is stable. Give me a close up, see this. <coughs> it's gonna be a 
tough one. Problem is the hoy. If I use too much energy before that last climb, I'm gonna hit the wall. The breakaway is losing its lead. It's going to be difficult for them. The stage's first climb is in sight for those at the front, a second category ascension where the first rider will score one point towards the mountain standings. King of the mountain sprint in two kilometers for the breakaway group. Likely to go all the way, guys. Watch out for counter moves. He asks his guys to maintain the tempo. Watch him. He must feel able to win the stage. The riders up front still have something left. They're upping the pace to try to hold out till the end. The end of the stage is not far off. Stay awake. It will soon start to move in the peloton goes to the top of the climber standing. Here's the positions over it's the last I can climb. follow this stage, uh, right here. <coughs> it's good to know. The front of the race is in the feed zone. And there's a huge sidewind. He's been dropped. The stage is too much for him. zone that means we don't have much left so we have to focus on what we're doing now and we are close there's two more climbs and then there's the uh, uphill finish when we get out of the fee zone we're using a fast forward down to this downhill section just right there the peloton is riding hard stay well placed
The head of the race is one and a half minutes lead on the peloton. It's going to be a tough one. Near close up. Use the high gear ratio when the tempo of the race picks up. The rest of the time, use the small gear ratio so as not to strain yourself. We can't change the close again. In front of the race, it's good. Another 20 kilometers for the lead riders. They're going to have to join forces to try to hold off the return of the peloton, but their chances of fighting it out for the stage victory seem very slim. I'll relay. The riders are on to the Côte de Ref, a fourth category climb that is two kilometers long. King of the Mountain sprint in two kilometers for the breakaway group. Last time checked with a breakaway, one minute. The yellow jersey was in danger, but he's once again leading the overall standings. Here's the positions over the last climb. Stage is too much for him. Save energy. Breakaway is unlikely to go all the way, guys. Watch out for counter moves. Ten kilometers to the finish, and two more difficulties on the menu. The Mur Saint Leonard and the Mur de Huy. The breakaway is managing to hold off the peloton. The gap seems to have stabilized. The breakaway will no doubt go all the way, lads, but watch out for attacks in the closing kilometers. He's trying to get out of the peloton. Watch out. He goes to the top of the climber standings. 
Okay, I'll follow any attack. The riders will be able to take a short breather on the way down. However, they will have to stay well placed if they hope to win at the top of the Mur de Wii with its sections at nearly. Let's change a bit of second. Twenty percent. <coughs> the breakaway is beginning to look dangerous. You better start riding, guys. Five kilometers for the breakaway. It's going to be nip and tuck with the final small climb. He's asked his teammates to chase you down because you're dangerous for the overall standings. You're going to have to try and hold out. He's got his teammates riding because in front, there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standings. A teammate has just been dropped. You can't count on him any longer. He's moving on to the attack. 30 seconds lead for the head of the race. And they're off. The punchers will now be able to sort it out between themselves. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. Okay, but I won't be very effective because I'm full out. For now, He's the virtual yellow jersey. I can't say yes, number 10. Uh, it did not go complete as a plan, but I got the uh, top 10 with Kreuziger, so it's important. But did not get any points with uh, Peter Sagan. There's nothing to do about that. I was trying. It was hard. Hard stage actually to to make a good tactic because of those hilly finish. But it's okay. We can say that the is going ideally for him. The plan works. I still got the jersey. It's important. It's make sure I'm getting recovery bonus. We have two in top four. Four and fives, it cannot be better. We cannot to expect much more. Peter Sagan is leading this green jersey. Exciting for next stage. How it's gonna be is because it's sprint stage. This is the recovery bonus plus one for Kreisiger, but not good enough for Pitasaka. But we still have full energy. We have five bars, so that means we have saved a lot of energy. And now there's three uh, flat stages coming. It should be stages Pitasaka should get with no problems. Um, but this one is the couple sections. And it's go gonna be so exciting because Peter Sagan has to be in top form here. He has to take the points he can take. So remember to watch stage four. It's so exciting. 